Good morning from the floor of the CME. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders Exclusive Comment. Today, what are we looking at in the grains and livestock? Well, I'll give you three things to take a look at. Number one, you've got the meat complex. Looks like it's possibly put a low in here now. Uh, we're starting the beginning of the month with a gap higher in the uh, hog market. There are some fundamental reasons that, that uh, you know, we may get a, a continued rally, but that's a very sensitive market to money flow. And right now it looks like beginning uh, last week, certainly Friday, we had three weeks highs. Today we've had another, uh, a new high for the move and a gap higher. Um, we've had cash cattle uh, trade six bucks higher than they were last week. So even though we're heading into a time seasonally where you know, we're done with summer, you would see a d decrease in demand. Uh, the market's kind of telling you that maybe there's another leg up. So take a look at that. These are very technical markets. Um, and and the, the meats are very, very sensitive to the stock market. Now the stock market's hanging in there pretty good near record highs. On Friday, the, the uh, federal government's gonna release the unemployment. You know, we could get some gyrations there. But for now, uh, it may be a trade you want to take a look at. Again, if you put something on, make sure you're using good risk reward parameters. You know, don't just throw the dice and hope for the best. Moving on to the grains. Um, we had a one week high in soybeans. This is a technical level now. Uh, we had a four year uh, low uh, just about uh, seven or eight sessions ago um, at 1019. Last night's low was 1020 and a half. Uh, it's trying to base. Now, we'll see what happens here this week. And then a week uh, further out on September 11th, we're gonna get another report from the USDA. So if you look at the charts, uh, the grains are you know, sitting at four-year lows. Looks like they're trying to base for also for corn, wheat, and beans. The key technical levels, again, you gotta look at that 1020 level in November beans. For December corn, uh, which is the new crop corn, Everybody's got their eyes on 358 corn if that doesn't hold. But in the meantime, people are maybe nibbling at getting long against that low. And then as far as the wheat, every time we've had a knee-jerk reaction off of what's going on with Russia, those have been short-lived and you know, selling opportunities. Um, it's very key to watch the 350 to 340 level in Chicago D-Suite. If that was to fail, it looks like there could be another leg down. But in the meantime, what are traders doing? They're trying to step in front of it, uh, kind of like trying to steal second base while still keeping your foot on first base. Um, if those levels hold, we could get some sort of a, a relief rally, maybe an opportunity to make a little bit of dough there. Um, that's really about it. The grains are going to get uh, a fresh number on uh, crop condition today. We're also going to get uh, some reports from FC Stone and Informa on the size of the yield. But barring any weather issue, we're, we're going to watch these technical levels in the grains, and we're going to look forward to the USDA report on the 11th.